What do teachers need to know about vocabulary? One really useful distinction for teachers to keep in mind is that between incidental vocabulary learning and intentional vocabulary learning. Incidental would be where our students pick up new words without meaning to through reading or listening. Research suggests that a great deal of second language vocabulary can be learned this way. That's why we need to be doing things like encouraging our learners to do a lot of reading outside of class, reading for pleasure, extensive reading, and also listening to English language radio programs or podcasts or English pop songs or English language movies or TV shows that provide some form of comprehension support in terms of captions or subtitles or something like that. Those aids help them make connections between form and meaning and acquire new words incidentally. But as I said, we can't just rely on incidental learning. Our students also need to be learning words intentionally, which means making a deliberate effort to identify words that'll be useful to them and also doing things that'll help those words stick in their memories so that they're available to be used later. Intentional learning can involve things like, at the very beginning stages, studying vocabulary lists, which are just high-frequency words in the target language listed next to their equivalents in the student's first language. This is a perfectly acceptable way of trying to learn vocabulary in the beginning stages, just trying to memorize these lists. Later in their careers, students can use vocabulary notebooks or word cards or flashcards, either paper-based or digital, and nowadays some of these digital flashcard systems even have spaced repetition algorithms that help you focus on just those words that you need more practice with. So, incidental learning and intentional learning, that's an important distinction. One more important word that teachers want to remember is incremental. Vocabulary is learned incrementally. We have to remember that it doesn't all happen at once. You don't learn all you need to know about a word in a single meeting with that word. We learn what we need to know through repeated exposures to words in different contexts of use, such that our knowledge builds up over time. And so it's important to find opportunities in our teaching to give students those repeated exposures, and in doing so, to draw students' attention back to those words and to try and find new things about them that we can point out to our students. Professor Rinaldi said that there are two ways of learning vocabulary, incidental vocabulary learning and intentional vocabulary learning. Incidental vocabulary learning occurs when students are working together in conversation or reading, and their focus is on what they are talking about or what they are reading about. Students may be picking up vocabulary without realizing it. In contrast, students can engage in intentional vocabulary learning, meaning that they are focusing on the words. They are using an app to practice their vocabulary knowledge or a corpus to expand their knowledge of word use. Professor Rinaldi pointed out that both of these processes are very important for students to learn enough vocabulary. Professor Rinaldi has already provided some useful concepts about vocabulary. I asked him specifically for some ideas about how to teach vocabulary, and here's what he said.